First new insight into a lawsuit filed against Ringling College of Art and Design in Sarasota. Former students allege the school mishandled serious misconduct reports, including sexual assault and harassment. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford talked to one of those students, and Liz, she told you that the school not only mishandled these reports, but covered them up. Yeah, well, Megan Ruiz graduated from Ringling College in 2019, but she says it took several years before she had the courage to file this lawsuit. She said she couldn't bury her truth once so many others came forward with their stories. So Megan Ruiz said she worked as a residence assistant while attending Ringling. She said her supervisor at the time, who was an employee of the college, harassed, mocked, and intimidated her. After she graduated, Ruiz said she reported her experiences to the college, but she says nothing was done. She then posted about it on social media and said she was overwhelmed with feedback from others with similar experiences. Dozens of people, alumni, former students, current students, um, former faculty members, faculty members, people who still work at the college, reaching out to me about their concerns with the college. Now, Ruiz said the other plaintiffs on the lawsuit experienced far worse than her, including reports of sexual assault and harassment being mishandled and then ignored. Ultimately, the eight former students alleged there was a pattern of silencing students who came forward with reports of student on student misconduct dating back to 2008. And the college did send us this statement saying, quote, the safety of our students and the entire Ringling College community is and always has been a top priority. As a practice, however, the college does not comment on pending legal matters. Of course, we are going to keep following this, staying on top of it, and we will let you know what happens.